programming 8086 to find the length of the string. Let me create segment, data segment first. I am creating a segment with keyword segment. In this segment, I will define my input. I want to find out the length of the string. So let me define my string. So string input can be given like this. I want to find out the length of the string Anuman. So I will give it here Anuman. And I want to define this length of the string as a byte size. This, this string will be stored in the computer's memory byte by byte. Each character will be of byte size. And I am giving a name to the string as A. So I define my input string like this A, D, B, Hitam. Similarly, I would like to define one more with the name B, D, B, another string like this. So totally there are two strings in my uh, data segment which for which I want to find out the length of the string. So in the code segment itself, I mean in the data segment itself, after defining the given two input strings, we will use one more variable len1. It is also of a byte size. I am allocating byte size to store this variable. I mean to store some data which is of byte size and I want to access with the name len1. So here I have a command. The command is dollar minus name of the string. So if I write like this dollar minus a this dollar minus a will return the length of the string a. A string is Hanuman. There are seven characters in this. Three, four, five, six, seven. So it will return the length of the string a as seven in the computer's memory which for which I have allocated byte size and that data can be accessed by the variable name len1. Similarly, len2, I will find out second string length, len2 db, I will find out the length of the string with the command dollar minus b. So these two statements are giving the length of the string. Our program is to find out the length of the string. So I define my input in the data segment as usual like other programs and in the data segment itself I am getting the output with the help of the command dollar minus a and dollar minus b. So let me close this segment. I close the data segment. Now let me create a code segment. Why code segment is required? In order to display the result on the computer uh, screen, I have to use certain registers of 8051. I have to put this result in any one of those registers and that can be done by programming 8086. So I, I have to use a code segment. So code, I am using a name code itself. Code segment. In this code segment, the first statement is ORG 1000 or any memory which we want to use. So I am indicating that my code starts from this memory location. And I will use a data segment initialization. Further I will use a label start. There I will write the first two statements as data segment initializations. Move AX comma D. What is our data segment name? Our data segment name is Hanu7. So move AX comma Hanu7. Then move DS. This is the data segment register. DS comma AX. That means whatever the address of this Hanu7 which have created should go to DS. So this step is called data segment initialization. Now let us copy the result into the desired location. Move CL comma len1. Whatever the length we have calculated here, that I am copying into CL register. Then move CH comma len2. So here you observe clearly, I used DB defined byte and len2 also defined byte. So this variable is giving you 8 bit number. This variable is also giving you 8 bit number. So I copied this 8 bit number into the 8 bit register. If this is DW, then I would use CX. Because it is DB, I used CL itself. CL is an 8 bit register. Similarly, CH is also 8 bit register. So I got the resulting CX register. So our program is done. So 
राइट इन टू थ्री एच देन कोर एंड एंड देन एंड स्टार्ट वन मोर स्टेटमेंट इज देर दैट इज वी हैव अज्यूम कोर सेगमेंट एस सीओडी डेटा सेगमेंट एस एच एन यू सेवन so i am assuming this as data segment and this as code segment so whatever the name you have given you have to put it here in front of cs whatever the name you have given you have to put it in front of ds so let us see the simulation part of this experiment now let us see the simulation part of the program assemble the program by issuing the command link the program why we need to link the program is whatever the object file we got here len of str.obj this has to be linked with object files in the library to get exe file so link len of str.obj enter four times so we got exe file you can see here len of str.exe now debug this exe file Now observe clearly the length of the string. One is Hanuman. Hanuman means H A N U M A N. Seven characters are there, so it it is written in Hanuman. Length of the string as seven. And the second string is Manu Manas M A N U and M A N A S. So there are nine characters. It is displaying nine. Uh, change in the program. What precaution we have to take care is as soon as. we defined our input string like this adb hanuman immediately find out its length so in in the board also i have shown you the prog uh, program as first i define input string second input string i defined then i calculated length of the string 1 and length of the string 2